what's up it's your girl Issa. welcome back to my channel um today i decided um to do a little cooking um i was going to do it anyway so i figured why not share it so today i decided and i've been basically scheming on this for some days now okay i'm going to make a vegan cheesecake if you don't know i decided that i was gonna go back strictly vegan i fell off the wagon so many times like somebody you know had to come scoop me back up but i'm back and i'm ready to you know start my journey over again for the last time okay because i don't plan on going back all right so all right first um what i wanted to do was make um some cream cheese i did however get this cream cheese right here which is vegan from yoko's they basically have like the best products that i've ever tasted like i've had the butter but i haven't tried this yet but the butter is like A1. You cannot tell the difference that it's not real butter. It tastes just like butter. But this is cream cheese and it's pretty simple. Um, all that's in here is organic cashews, filtered water, organic coconut cream, sea salt, and cultures. That's it. And you know, that's what I wanted. Some of the other brands had a bunch of other extra stuff in there that I was not interested in. A lot of um, vegan like cheese products or just vegan stuff in general has soy that doesn't so it's an A1 in my book okay so um, I found this recipe online it's just a simple recipe for cream cheese and I'm just gonna make some extra because the recipe that I'm going to do calls for a little bit extra more than this and buying two of these uh, too much so um i say that because it's gonna run you about six seven dollars something like that i forgot exactly the price but something like that so it's not it's not cheap so um yeah but this one is only eight ounces that's like the same thing you would get in a regular philadelphia cream cheese and people usually buy two of those but um nah I got this, it's eight ounces. The recipe called for 21, um, but I am I think I'm gonna do half. So I have the recipe already. And so I would still need about like 10 and a half. So what I was gonna do was just make some extra cream cheese. I found a recipe and then I'm going to use it and add it with that. So, yeah, that's the plan. So, um, yeah, so let's just get started on this cream cheese and keep watching. I brought you guys over to this side of the counter so you guys can see actually what I'm making. Um, it's very simple. It doesn't need a lot of ingredients. I'm not using any of these things because this is for, um, you know, a seasoned one. I might still do the salt. I'm not doing vinegar. I don't have white vinegar. I actually have a few different kinds of vinegar, but none of them are white. You don't necessarily need the vinegar um, to make the cream cheese, because I saw, uh, I've seen other recipes that didn't ask for that kind. So yeah, I'm just gonna do um, a half a cup and a fourth a cup of raw cashews. I've had mine soaked, they were soaked overnight, and then I had them in the refrigerator. Um, the lemon juice I can do, and I also have a can of coconut cream. So I'm gonna use those three ingredients. I'm not sure if I absolutely need the vinegar. Obviously I don't because the one that I have here, like I showed you guys, does not have vinegar. Do you see vinegar? No, you do not. You see water. So, I could replace that with water instead. Alright, so, 
like I said, let's get started. Okay guys, so I have my mixer here and I rinse my cashews. Cause I didn't like the way they were looking. I got my two measuring cups here. A half a cup and a fourth a cup. So I'm just gonna scoop out some. I got a half a cup of cashews here. Going in the mixer. Then I got a fourth a cup here in the mixer. So I have my tablespoon measure right here. I'm just gonna squeeze it right into here. Boom. Got a tablespoon of lemon juice. Handy dandy can of coconut cream right here, right here. Got this from Trader Joe's, it's organic. So, I'm just gonna open this up. It says I need half a cup. Half a cup. I had a measuring cup right here. There's my measuring cup. It says half a cup, but I'm doing half of that recipe. So I would need a fourth, which would be to this line right here. I'm definitely making a damn mess everywhere. So, always do the counter eye level to this. It is one fourth. So, that's right on one point. I'm gonna throw that in here. And that's it. I'm going to blend it up and see what happens. what it's looking like I have some cream cheese so what I'm gonna do is put this to the side and get started on the real recipe 